Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to take your Notion page from this to this with no code. We're gonna go over how to change the color, font, and size of the headers in your columns. And you can use it in a few different ways and we'll go over that. Currently, there are only three font styles in Notion itself. You can change your font, default, serif, and mono. And then the way to change the background colors. So say you wanted to change the color of this Monday, you can change the font and you can also change the backgrounds but you're limited to these colors right here on the menu let me show you one more time so you can pick from these or you can pick from these so I'm gonna show you how you can use any font you want any color and we're gonna do this in Canva so I've already started one here but I'm gonna remake this to show you guys so I'm gonna go up here to create a design and so the one I made over here is 1500 by 300 pixels. You can play around with it if you want yours to be more narrow, more square. So I'm just gonna redo that size and there are just so many possibilities here. So I am going to this background first. You can pick just a solid color. You could even leave the background the same color as your template if you're using dark mode or light mode. Uh, you can export this as a transparent PNG if you wanted, if you have the pro account. Otherwise you can just make the background the same as your template. So I'm actually gonna go down to the gradients in the colors panel here. Okay, I'm going to go to text, add a heading, and you can really do anything you want here. So what I always like to do when I'm doing say like a weekly set, I start with Wednesday just because it's the biggest and I want everything to be the same font size. So I start with Wednesday, make sure it fits. I'm going to use this one from the example and I think I did about 150 and you can do anything here. You can do this for your subjects in school. You can do the days of the week. If you're doing journaling, you can make it say, you know, gratitude, affirmations, intentions, things like that. So let me just get this centered and then I'm just going to duplicate it and make the ones that I want. So I'm just gonna do the days of the week. And I do recommend making sure that the alignment here is in the center. Otherwise, when you start typing a new word, it'll start from the left and go right. I'm gonna go ahead and do these really quick and then I will be right back. So I have them all here. I did Monday through Sunday and then a notes one. And you could just keep going by pushing this little plus and duplicating and making as many as you need. And then you'll be able to export them all at once. So I will show you. We're gonna do share and then download and then PNG. And because the background is filled in, we don't have to worry about if it's transparent or not. So you can do this with a free Canva account. I left these ones black just to show you the difference when we pull them over. So I am going to open this up. So it downloaded all of these into one zip file. So I'm gonna drag it over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make four columns. That way I can do the Monday through Thursday and then put the rest on the bottom. So I'm going to do four columns. You don't have to do this. You can just drag and drop them next to each other, but this just makes it a little easier. I'm going to bring this Monday over here. If I were to not do the columns, it's like this. You can resize it. You could drag and drop it next to it. I'm gonna pull these over here. And you can organize this however you want. There we go. And then I will show you what I did above. I'm just gonna add a to-do. And then I like to fill in a few just so that they're there. And you can select all of these. Now these are running the whole width. I would make sure that they are right under there. It looks the same, but if you're gonna say use it on mobile, then it makes things a little weird. So make sure that they are right under there. Then you can select them, hit Alt. I'm on a Windows keyboard, I use a Mac. I'm not sure of the Mac's uh, shortcut, but you could always just duplicate them. Drag them over, again, make sure they're under here. 
So you really can do anything with these. You could make them square. Canva has a lot of options for frames that you can make different sizes. So you can do this to make the covers too. These, I call them headers. I know some people call the covers headers too, but you can also make covers. They are different sizes. Okay, so I'm seeing here it's recommended 1500 by 600 pixels if you were to make a cover, but again, it just, it really depends if you're using your Mac, your iPad, your phone, because it'll be different, but you can do the same thing. These are just for within your template themselves. So I have some headers on my website. Let me show you, and I will put the setup here too that I make just so that you can download it in case you don't wanna make them yourself. In my Notion section, I think I have two sets so far, but I will add the ones that I just made. So these are headers. I will eventually get to making some covers too, but these are the same thing. They are just PNGs that you can drag over. You can do any colors, fonts, sizes. You can make these way bigger. You can make them square. You can make them frames. I usually make this stuff in Affinity Designer or Affinity Publisher, but but I am doing them on Canva right now because I think more people might use Canva. I will do a video on Affinity Publisher and Designer too, but let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you want to make next and have a good day.